Yo, what's going on guys? I'm here with another video. In today's video, we're going to go over how to get the Grim Reaper, the AMR Grim Reaper, one of the most compared to snipers to the Type-G Tiamat. And I'm going to show you guys a really easy and effective way to get the Grim Reaper. So, of course, you already know you're going to want to load up Betrayal of the Comrades with the DLC. If you don't have the DLC, uh, farming for a Grim Reaper is pointless. You're not going to get a legendary one. So, if you guys don't have the DLC, this video isn't for you. Just letting you guys know so you don't watch the whole video and be like, oh, I'm going to do this and get a Grim Reaper. And you're not able to and be like, hey, you didn't tell me I had to have the DLC. So, I did. So, you're going to want to go to the Old South. And you're going to want to fast travel to Subway A or B. But right here on the mini map, this marker right here is the spot to go. So you don't need your NPCs unless you're like really low level and you don't want to. I mean, it's not really a fast farm with your NPCs running around. So I'm using the Lupus, by the way, because it's a really easy kill for these guys. As long as you move and don't let them shoot you, you'll be good because they can one shot you in the head. Now I am not using any, ooh, got a legendary one. Oh, they're decent rows. So, where you guys just saw me go, that spot on the map is the most common spot for, well not even most common, these guys are always going to spawn in about 3 to 5 usually and what you want to do is have your luck up to max which is 225 and if you have accessories like I do that give you plus anything rare item plus luck plus item drop that is great which as you can see I have two of these and on your other players you want to you want to see that to it that they have 255 luck or more like my Arphasis has 335 and you don't need your Arphasis or your NPCs to do anything you really only need you yourself a gun and the DLCs to grab these so And these mobs, they won't respawn, so you want to kill these guys. And so they don't get in your way. Oh, I can't shoot through that, okay. So what you guys see me doing right here is I am walking away from the spawn point of these Grim Reaper drones where these guys have the Grim Reaper and they can one snipe you. I run away and I go right back. Here, let me kill this guy first. He's going to be a pain. And also I am using the Lupus from the um, Bounty Rewards which you guys probably won't get a lupus this good. So the only reason I'm using this is it's a triple burst. It has 50% damage versus everything. So I find it pretty good. And you guys just saw these guys spawn. So once you get a certain distance away, they're going to respawn. And you see I'm getting decent drops. Not too. I mean, I only go for legendaries. But if you guys want a, a AMR or Reaper that can do the behemoth in around 10 minutes, Grab one of these, throw some decent chips on them, and you'd be able to do those. I'm liking that they're at least dropping me something. Sometimes they be dropping me rare and whatnot. I don't... Uncommon and rares and grays and reds. It's just... I don't need those. And I have five legendary ones in my inventory, but only one of them have, a, have one with four on my... But I don't need any of those, so that's why I don't collect them. So once they finally decide to one-shot me in the head, I can just respawn. Because, like I said, I'm not going to settle for anything less than legendary. I, I will grab an epic if there's a legendary right there once I kill all four or five of them. 
But other than that, you guys just want to keep running back and forth. Make sure you wrap around the little pole that I was uh, doing because that's like the best method to know how far you went. And when you do that, basically just go back to the area. They will respawn. There's also other spawns to this part where they will spawn and I don't recommend those spots but I will mark them on the map and I'm not going to go there because for the content this is a farming like I will show you guys the best farming always I won't resort to other ways I will always show you guys the other ways just in case you're like okay I'm not having really good luck here so let me go here so like I said you don't want to sit still too much that's why I'm using a lupus And I like this gun really just because it's a triple brace. You can spam it and you can keep shooting it. Very accurate. Oh, and another thing that you guys need to keep in mind. Make sure you have your game on extreme mode. And I do recommend once you let these guns pile up when you're not collecting them. Like if you collect a legendary and collect a whole bunch of other ones. You can just go into your item box. Or while you're doing this, you can go into your items and you can discard everything, which you have to do singular one by one, which it's not too hard to do. And another thing too is agility and speed form. If you don't have those on, you're going to be running through this a lot slower than I am. Like this guy, there's a legendary. But sometimes I try to avoid grabbing the other guns, but I end up not doing so. Just gonna jump right over here. If it would let me. And discard these items. Go to weapons, go up. And the ones that you just collected, you can just discard them all. And then you will see these as your unappraised items. This is what I do just to, because I don't need any of these. I only want the legendary AMR Grim Reaper. Just because if you're farming for something and you get extra stuff, okay. If you don't want it, okay, good. But if you do want it, that's great. But I'm farming for a Grim Reaper, so I will strictly keep it to the ones that I get. So I know how many I get. So when I go to Ag Agile, I can go and unappraise those items. And honestly, I've had a really hard time with the best accessories on for farming. And so if you guys don't even have those accessories, I, it's going to take a minute for you to get this. But this is definitely the best method to do. Easily kill these guys. Make sure you have a decent gun that can get headshots off and kill them before they have a time to react. Because like I said, these guys will one shot you in the head. So yeah, look out for that. I mean, it's not fun dying in campaign because you're going against bots. So. And like I said, from time to time, once those guns pile up, if you don't want to constantly go to your items and discard them one by one, you can easily, as long as you don't drop a legendary, you can go back and forth about four or five times without getting a legendary. And you respawn and probably, you know, somewhat reset your luck or whatnot. I mean, I never really did that and came back and got something great. But it's, it is what it is at the end of the day. It's a grind, this game. Everything you do is a grind, money grind, bounty grind. Farming, everything is a grind. You know, Z types, those are a grind. See, like right here, I would, since so many of those guns are piled up, I would have let them snipe me and then restart the map point. But I'm, I'm in a good rhythm right now, and I'm doing it pretty efficiently. So, like I said, guys, just constantly do this. You see, I only gotten a few legendaries with the items I have on and with my luck. So it is going to be hard for you guys if you guys don't have a 180 mil bounty and don't have those accessories that I have, which I'll show you guys again. Yeah. 
see. Do I have any? No, oh, I didn't collect any. But as you can see, I have 315 luck with the, and I'll show you guys the lupus that I'm using. I'm using the bounty lupus. It's decent, has max chips on it. So yeah, I didn't touch a single one of those chips. But I have item drop rate about, you know, a little over 70%. And then I have about 15, 14, little under 15% rare item drop. I have plus 60 luck and then experience points on level 300. Of course, that doesn't work. But with farming comes, you know, accessories that you're not really going to be using that, you know, that aren't going to help you too much. But... That's all for this video. I hope you guys liked the content. If you did, make sure you leave a comment, like, subscribe, and hit up the Twitch and the Twitter guys for updates on streams and more content. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed.